to all the amazing teachers and administrators in the world, please help us make mindful education mandatory in schools at all levels. There is a connection between teaching mental health and education and growing up to be nonviolent. If kids can learn to cope with emotions and stress, to communicate and interact with others, then they will be less depressed and anxious teens and happier, more content, peace-loving adults who can resolve issues in productive ways. Other kids are helping with gun regulations and I'm so proud of them. So I'm gonna keep doing that, what I know how to do. That, that's arming teachers with what they're supposed to be armed with. Teachable moments and education. I believe that it needs to be addressed simultaneously. Guns, mental health, and education. But it will only work if we make these programs a priority for the kids. So please register for the Mindful Kids Peace Summit today and show this wonderful program about social emotional learning and mindfulness to your students. It's free if you watch on the days of the summit and it will lead to a more positive world for our next generation. Show your kids with Shanti, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, it's, it sends a great positive message and spread the message about with Shanti for those who don't know um, or don't, don't know how to view it, how to see it, how to get involved and that way follow them on social media to also see how to be a part of it. This could help students and cut down on the bullying and the stress and the suicides and then hopefully that could be um, worked into the curriculum for schools. There are a lot of studies that the uh, most important aspects of becoming a leader, of being successful in life, of being well grounded is not so much intelligence, it's nice to have intelligence, but it's emotional intelligence. Um, feeling what other people are feeling, being able to convey feelings and be sympathetic and empathetic. Um, I think that starts early. Uh, it starts by example with parents, hopefully, uh, but it can be involved in school curriculum and I think there should be more of that. I would encourage everybody to get involved. You know, these are our kids. Um, if, even if they're not your kids, they're your nephews, they're your friends' kids. They're somebody, they're growing up into this world and they're gonna be running the world pretty soon. So we want them to have a clear mind when they get to that age and that stage in life so they can think clearly and think positive and act kindly. Watch the Mind for Kids Peace Summit in your school. We are really trying to spread the word to promote social emotional learning and mental health and mindfulness and hopefully we can get our curriculum and all the curriculums of the organizations that are helping us with the Peace Summit into schools so that we can stop the violence and we can help kids become better people. The more people involved with the, the Peace Summit is only going to make a greater difference. Um, the more kids that are involved, especially the teens and the tweens that are involved, because they're, they're the age, that age group is such a tricky age group. And we front load so much to that age group with the advanced classes, the honors classes, the AP classes, their academics are so overloaded that sometimes we leave out that emotional help that they need. And we really want to make sure that they're getting a well-rounded education and that includes their social and emotional help. There's a growing body of scientific knowledge that shows that meditation increases the mass of the gray matter in the brain and also can strengthen the telomeres, which are the ends of our DNA and are one of the building blocks of life itself. So let's keep changing the planet one peaceful child at a time. The statistics are really staggering. Uh, one in five children struggle with obesity. One in three report being bullied in school. And since 2007, the number of suicides in children aged 10 to 14 have doubled. And the science proves that social and emotional learning single-handedly can reverse these trends. And that's why it's so important as parents and educators, not only that we educate our children, but that we educate ourselves. I'm an educator, same as you, and I know that I got into this job because I, I love what I do. I love what I do every single day, and unfortunately, like I said, we live in a world now that this has become a reality, which is a sad, sad thing, but you get up every day for those kids. You get, I mean, we know it's not for the pay. <laughs> we, you get up every single day for those kids. And the thing that I can say is, yes, they're in the back of your head, there will always be a fear of this happening, but you have to let those kids be your motivation because they're the only ones that are going to be taking care of us when we get to be in our old age. As a kid like me, I know when the fire alarm goes off or when an alarm goes off in your school, 
I know you're scared because I was scared as well. And when I got the news about Parkland, I was so sad um, about what had happened. And hopefully we can watch the Mindful Kids Peace Summit all across the world so that we spread the word about mental health and social emotional learning and we can get these curriculums into schools. Mm -hmm.